You know, it takes a special kind of person to put to do what I'm doing right here and putting all this makeup on. I get I get ragged by all my friends all the time, but uh, you know, when I leave this earth, this is going to be one of the things they get, that I'm going to take with me. And they're going to they're going to remember. All I got to do now is convince my wife to uh, I got to either show her how to put all this makeup so when I do pass away, she'll be. <laughs> No, this. we are not burying him as the mad dadder. <laughs> that is See, not happening. <laughs> that's another hurdle I'm going to have to overcome one day. Because she's, she's not into The it. funniest thing is when we first started doing this and he said, I had to take him makeup shopping, cosmetics, okay. And he wrote me a list. Okay, well here are the things that I'm going to need. And he had different things and one of it was pinkish eyes. <laughs> I'm cracking up laughing saying, what are we going to do with pinkish eyes? But of course, when you see the pictures, we've got Johnny Depp's got the one green eye, the one pink eye. He's got an orange eye. Uh, it's, you know, different colors on every portion. So it was quite amusing to take my husband makeup shopping. I think Louisiana lends itself, New Orleans lends itself to dressing up like this because of Mardi Gras. You know, at, at uh, Oakland, they have all those guys with those weird things, you know, all the spikes and, and stuff. Um, I can't think of another stadium where they really dress up. I think I think one of the things about people come the, the the fans of New Orleans adapting to the dressing and all, it's kind of like with Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays Vegas. in Vegas. Same thing in New Orleans. I think in New Orleans, I think it is we wouldn't be selling all these masks on every street corner. You know, you know tourists will come and spend five dollars just to wear a mask around. And putting that mask on allows them to do things just maybe a little bit outside the envelope that they wouldn't do. And I think it's just the, the you know, I don't know if it's the past history of New Orleans having that voodoo uh, image to it or, or what, but... Uh, well, it's connected with Mardi Gras as well. You can dress up in any sort of costume for Mardi Gras because there's no true theme. And I think that's part of what helps with New Orleans. We're the saints, so, you know, what is the theme? There's no theme. Just wear something black and gold and you're good to go. So, uh, a lot of the costumes are black and gold, except for the few, like, you know, Elvis, the, the Joker, the, uh, the clown. You know, those people are not black and gold, but everybody else seems to do a really good black and gold theme. And I think the thing, one of the other things I like about the dressing up is some of the people, they, you know, no one's trying to outdo the other guy. Everyone respects their own rendition of what they're trying to achieve. I think what makes this so much fun and so easy is we're fortunate enough that she's my best friend. And it, it just makes it, it makes it fun. It's a, it's, it's a whole, we look forward to the season. We do it, we even do it on preseason games. It's just something we, we've gotten used to and I, I can't imagine us not doing it. I, I'll probably fall into some kind of mental funk if we, if we don't <laughs> if do it we one quit. game. I mean, we'll probably go and lose like we lost to the Falcons 15 years ago, 63 to nothing. No, so it's, it's something that we're going to have to, uh, I don't it's know. It's tradition some kind of now. Way. We have to keep doing it. Maybe a little tough if, if she's having to push me, out, push, push me around in a wheelchair. <laughs> Actually, today is my birthday, 57 years old today. So I guarantee you, ain't many 57-year-old men running around like this. Maybe, that, maybe that's a good thing then. <laughs> All right, looks good. Thinks everything's fine. It's game time. We're awfully late, you know. <laughs>